The most daunting task now for the average Kenyan is shopping for essential items. And if the buzz in town is anything to go by, most remain reminiscent of back in the day when a thousand shilling note would buy them an entire month's worth of shopping. Fast forward to today, and how much is the value of a thousand shilling note? We sought to find out. Mary Manya depicts the basket of the simplest family unit. She's expecting her first child, and so this is the shopping basket of just her and her husband for the day. She therefore opts for the very basic with a thousand shilling budget. Sukari, imekua 115, say 125. Vitungu, ilikuwa 130, say 139. Nyanya, zilikuwa 60. She stands at the milk stand the longest, going through the varieties available in the hope that she will find a cheaper way out. The increase in the price of milk remaining her biggest blow for a lady who bought up to three pockets of milk daily, now forced to settle for just one. Imepanda yote pamoja, kwa hivu mimi itabidi tu ni rudi, ama naeza rudi kununua ile ya nje, inye upimwa kwa kikombe, kiasi kikombe. Hiyo ni beiraisi sana. And she is not the only one. A 15 shilling rise in the cost of a packet of milk that has now seen its retail price shoot to 55 shillings from 40 shillings has left many people torn as to the next cause of action. Back to Mary and her budget can only afford her so much. She will not have enough left from her a thousand shillings. But her shopping basket is only one in a list of piling bills. A text message that has been circulated by Kenyapa announcing the increase in the electricity bill, her next headache. Stima ndio hiyo, kila siku inavari, siku ngine bili inakuwa juice, siku ngine bili chini, sasa hata yeleweki. Ala friend, tena kila mtu anayake. Life in Kajado may be a bit easier for Nancy Wanjiro, but the reality hits her just as hard. The only reprieve for this mother of three is that her groceries are not as expensive. A kilo of potatoes here is 50 shillings, and so is a kilo of tomatoes. She affords more variety in her shopping on a similar 1,000 shilling budget, but only because she opts for a smaller size of each commodity. Life is equally as hard for her here in Kajado town. Vile imefika, imefika pahali wezi nunua mkate, maziwa, ata mkate. Imefika pahali tunanua nguwa she, di unaona chipa, ama unaenda kwa masai kwa wakuzie maziwa sabu wanauza that ibo. Seemingly, the option of using farm produce as compared to processed foods or those packed in supermarkets is saving a few shillings for residents living outside major city centers. One thing is for sure, though. Whether directly or indirectly, the impact of the new higher VAT and excise duty on consumer goods is one whose pinch no one is escaping. Evelyn Wambui, Citizen TV, Nairobi.